Howdy. We're back. We're Pokemon League champions, and we're going to Kanto. And we need to talk to Professor Elm first. I'm jumping the gun. I got excited. Wrigley's excited, too, my, my golden retriever, who's in my profile picture. He, Wrigley. Once again, I, I've been doing this for 25 seconds. <laughs> so we got the ticket. You hear me, so sassy. We got the ticket to the SSN, which leaves from Olivine City. I'm thinking about getting more potions because I haven't gotten any since the Elite Four. So just making sure we're not missing any random items. And we have a little side mission to complete before we can move on to find his granddaughter. And one of these is our room. I'm not sure which one it is. But. But anyway. This is the region where we're going to complete our team. Somehow, some way, we were able to complete it. Complete the Johto region, that is. With an unfinished team. Three of our six Pokemon aren't fully evolved and one of them that is doesn't even have a move that it's on their own time I'm, talking, I'm looking at you Kea oh Kea Lou it's okay I, I middle name them when it's I'm, I'm either sympathetic or they're in trouble but I could have sworn one of these is ours and we can just like sleep on it that's why I didn't get any hyper potions PC. Okay, okay, this is probably our room. Yep. There we go, we're fully healed. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> imagine just asking. Fire breather with a coughing. Makes sense. Oh, that's a pretty tough Flareon right there. It's a really good defensive Flareon. Playing this uh, Pokemon Crystal through has gotten me wanting to play some some of the older Pokemon games, and it's in turn gotten me interested in the ROM hacks those are fun there's this one I forget the name of it I think it's just called rocket or so something you're, you're a member of team rocket and you're going through it's a little bit more rated R so I'm not gonna say go and download it but it's more of like a if you hear my snaps that's it's me trying to calm my dog down because once again I get no respect around here yeah, yeah he's looking at me but that game's so much fun like you're you're going you're playing against red who's just like cr crazy strong and it's from the team rocket perspective they're in Mount Moon saying this trainer just came in and whooped up on all of us and and your guys just like um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a fun fun game. I've only gotten, I mean, t two or three missions into it, but it's a pretty fun game. I have like an Eevee, a Nidoran, and a Sparrow, so yeah, no, that's a that's a really fun game. I never ended up getting through those as a kid, or as I got older.
I love how the juggler's sick. Like, did he eat something, or did he... Is it just, like, seasickness, or is it, like... Easy enough. I think we're gonna get all of our people evolved in a pretty decently short fashion. I mean... Our... Victory Bell will be coming at level 42 after it learns Razor Leaf and then at level 40 when Growlithe learns Flamethrower and then at level 50 Dragonair will evolve into Dragonite and at that point we'll probably have beaten most of the gems if I have a Pokemon at level 50 might be closer to the to battling red than yeah, anything. Which I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to a lot of the stuff that Kanto presents, catching Mewtwo. Uh, the I, I'm not I'm not sure how I uh, it goes. I go about doing the legendary birds in this, but we're gonna do all of that. I would really like to put an episode aside where kind of after all eight badges are collected where I just go and I I catch all three of the legendary birds I have no promises on the legendary beasts obviously we're not going to spend a lot more time in Johto uh, we'll see about ho -Oh and Lugia but I definitely want to milk Kanto for all it's worth and we're definitely going to get Mewtwo out of Cer Cerulean Cave strategically I did not use my Master Ball against Suicune. I caught it on the fourth try with an Ultra Ball. If you want to go back, I believe that's part 11 or part 12. It's in the playlist. You, it, it, it wouldn't be hard to figure out. So anyway, I just I just wanted to check and see if the captain had anything else for you. Obviously, in red and green, red and green, red and blue, and fire red and leaf green, he gives you cut. So. I just wanted to double check. But it's nothing, and here we are in Vermilion City for the first time. We're in an actual Kanto town. And there we go, we can fly here now. We are a dual citizen, baby. Obviously, Snorlax is blocking the way, a little bit differently positioned than it otherwise would be. And now we're about to try to face Lieutenant Sarge. And before we end this episode, we're going to get one gym badge. I think it's a pretty successful post Elite Four episode, if you ask me. And it should be a good training spot for Kiko, who, let's be honest, was. useless almost in the Elite Four. I'm sorry, I, I mean it in the nicest way possible. It just didn't work out. None of the types, none of the moves, the defense, it, it's just it's just a base evolutionary Pokemon with no advanced stats and it's just tough, like you're like, what are you going to do about that? A level 37 Arcanine would have survived that, would have beat this Electro, and it would have been fine. There would have been nothing. But, we need the move. We're just trudging along this one. Let me make Kaya earn level 39. Surprisingly, Kaya's going to be the first one 
Pro possibly put the first one to level 40 other than for Alligator. So yeah, the the most annoying puzzle in all of Pokemon Gym Leaders. I just had like a spasm, okay. But you don't have to do it in Crystal. You beat the Elite Four and it rewards you. You don't have to find the switches in the trash cans. Which is the most annoying, like I said, the most annoying puzzle ever. It doesn't even work itself half the time. It's glitched half the time. So, anyway. Hopefully this should be just a couple hits. Pikachu doesn't really have a lot of... Special defense, it looks like. Flaffy. I wish, I wish, I wish I could have had one on my team. I looked around in Violet City's gym. Or not the gym. <laughs> I'm right below it for way too long before I realized that it, it wasn't coming. I had to edit it out of this, out of my initial. Well, I guess that would be, be my second episode. So it's time to take on the Sarge. Get our ninth gym badge overall. Starting out hot with Raichu. Okay, that's that's gonna be. Oh, okay. Well, he left him with the burn, so you can see where it goes from here. That shouldn't be very effective, and it paralyzes me. Still a strong move, nothing I can do. Alright, Raichu goes down. That's not his strongest Pokemon, though. Second strongest, I believe. Double team's getting cat. Oh, of course. Alright, you know what? That's two down. Not, not just for us, for them too. Maybe. Oh, maybe Zap Cannon will be the TM. That'll come after this, and I can get an actual TM for KO. It's gonna come close. I believe in you, Jolteon. And Kaya. I haven't been using their nicknames very often. Don't want to get them wrong. Alright, hopefully one Ice Punch will do it. Electabuzz. This is his strongest Pokemon, and this is going to one-hit KO me. I knew it. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right, we just gotta hope he stays asleep. We don't have any more revives, so it's, yeah. We just gotta hope that this lowers his defense and he doesn't wake up. Oh, I need a critical so bad. No, not a hyper potion. I should have just used acid. Hindsight's 2020, but down goes Electabuzz with a victory bell. Or not even a victory bell, a weeping bell. Alright. Kinda half hoping the electrode would just self explode and I would still have Pidgeot, fattest. Oh, maybe? Okay, wow, that's it. Alright, yeah, we have our first badge. Receive the Thunder Badge. 
Uh, oh, and no TM. Perfect, just the way I like it. <laughs> I didn't need a Thunder type move. All right, well, yeah, cool, awesome. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. And in the second episode, I'm not even sure the direction I want to take it. Honestly, we're just going to go with the flow. Maybe we'll go up the Snorlax route. Maybe we'll go up towards Saffron City and elsewhere. Who knows? I don't. But I enjoy this. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time.